Hello and welcome to Demo Reel. As usual, I am your host, New Photosan, and uh, we've got a, a PlayStation 2 disc here, which explains why we're looking at a trailer instead of some fun opening video that's uh, thematic to the disc. But we'll go ahead and skip this as we head on to our main menu here. And we'll take a look at what all we've got, and uh, we get a, a good idea of about where in time this is taking place here in uh, issue 93. It says at the top, but here's um, the PSP, and I just want to go in here and look. Um, yeah, there's a video advertisement for the PSP itself, and then also a video for the Hot Shots Golf PSP, uh, which we've played some of the Hot Shots Golf games here, but not obviously not the PSP version. But anyway, we go into the playground, and uh, first up we have Madagascar, which is oh boy, um, I'm I'm looking forward to that one, and then a uh, stolen uh, sort of a, a Splinter Cell type game, I think, um, and then Juice, which looks like some kind of uh, racer. Uh, Delta Force Black Hawk Down, uh, which uh, I'm familiar with through name mostly, but I don't I don't know what distinguishes it from other shooting games. We'll find out about that. Fight Night Round Two, which we actually played fairly recently, and usually I try and space out um, replays, but I think it's I think it's been it's been a few weeks. It's probably okay. <laughs> and then Lego Star Wars, which I'm looking forward to, to playing that. I know the uh, the Lego video game series is pretty pretty popular, but I've never actually played it. Um, and then also Star Wars Battlefront, uh, Battlefront uh, Demo Classics here, uh, that'll, that'll be a lot of fun. Um, and there's a video for MX vs. ATV Unleashed, which we've played that before. And then a video for Mobile Suit Gundam vs. Zeta Gundam, which I really wish was playable, because that, um, I don't know if the game's any fun, but just uh, playing a Gundam game on here would be awesome. Uh, also a video for Destroy All Humans, a game that, oddly enough, we haven't played yet, but I know for a fact we will, um, probably a couple times. Uh, we'll be playing that. And then also a video for uh, 25 to Life. Um, and a video for Dynasty Warriors 5, which, uh, again, I wish that was playable because I'm a big Dynasty Warriors fan. But uh, also uh, a commercial for the PS2 cordless controller, which I, I know, can you imagine having controllers without cords on them? It's That would just be that would just be amazing. And then also for some reason, a commercial for Full Sail uh, University. I don't... I don't have any idea what that's doing here in the the playground. Like, I, <laughs> that confuses me. At the very least, I would expect that to be like the opening video, and just stick it somewhere else on the menu. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and start with Madagascar here. Um, we've got such interesting uh, controls here as um, talk slash use and special. Uh, two special buttons. Wow, this game is this game is really really special. All right, uh, we got our, our loading screen here with the uh, iconic and memorable Madagascar cast. Uh, it says to press start, so I will. And it looks like we are going back to the beach. Um, yeah, I don't. You know, I I've seen Madagascar and Madagascar too, though not the not the third one, not the circus one. But uh, I don't actually remember it all that well. I remember one or two scenes, and that's kind of it. Uh, I guess I'll let you guys see this video here. Boy, tell your boy to suck it up and quit screaming. Melman, put a sock in it. Okay, it's really quiet here. There's no music or anything. Okay, guys, we gotta get off this island before we all lose our minds. We need to rebuild Alex's rescue beacon so we can get out of here. Did I overhear something about a rescue beacon? I can take care of that for you. Really? Wilbur, I could just kiss you. If I hadn't already washed once today. Well, I've got good news and bad news. All right. Let's get the bad news over with first. The bad news is that your rescue beacon burned down. We know we'll never get off of Cannibal Island. Pipe down, Melman. So, tell us the good news. Well, there are some materials you could use for a new beacon scattered all over this beach. If you can find all of them, I know some lemurs that can probably put it together. So, uh, Gloria, how about that kiss? How about we get this beacon together first? Okay, so, um, yeah, like, I don't even remember that, um, Warthog character we were talking to just now, uh, from the movie. Um, what is with the, there's like, whoa, um, I accidentally pressed special. That, th this is special, by the way, it's rolling, and then the, uh, triangle special is like a, some kind of dashing punch, it's interesting. Um, yeah, I, I meant to I meant to talk, though. I meant to press circle. I've got a little problemo with these crabs. Oh, joy. They're always pinching me, and believe it or not, I'm not quite as quick on these cloven hooves as I used to be. Maybe you can squash some of them for me? 
If it helps me find a piece for the beacon, I'm a squashing machine. Well, if you can squash enough of them in time, there's a piece of the rescue beacon in it for you, as well as some quality FaceTime with yours truly. Okay, so, um, I guess I'll squash them with by rolling on them? Um, if I can control this at all, it's a really hard to control the roll here. Um, can I, can I punch them? Can I just, uh, I guess not. Uh, I've gotten zero of them. Boy, it's really hard to control this, this rolling, um, and I don't, uh, I don't even think that's working. Like, there's a couple times I thought it should have hit. Um, what am I supposed to do to smash them? I'm just pushing them out of the way when I roll. Um, I'm afraid you didn't smash enough crabs, my darling. It's okay, though. Happens to a lot of people. Maybe we can try again soon. Maybe I just need to jump on them. Let me try that. Um, uh, I, I tried to I tried to skip the animation. Okay, there we go. I didn't need to hear whatever you had to say. Um, let me try jumping on them. Can I do that? Well, if I can land on them. It's funny that uh, Gloria keeps saying things like, I'm on fire, and yeah, take that, when I haven't hit any of them. Like, I'm not even close uh, here. But, jeez, it's... What am I supposed to do? Um, like, there's not... There's not anything, like, to do. I don't know, whatever, I'm done with this. I'm not gonna worry about um, smashing these crabs. I don't, I don't even understand it. Um, anyway, whatever. Uh, I think... Oh, what? Now I figured it out. Like... Huh. Okay, so when I double jump, I do a smash. Okay, well now I know. Uh, oh well, whatever. Um, if we end up needing to, I can smash some crabs that way. Um, and go back and do it. I got something for smashing that one there. There's a little, uh... What are, what are those? Some kind of, like... I, is it like, uh... A bug encased in Chris? I don't know. Uh, I can't tell what those are supposed to be. Um, anyway, uh, one thing that this game has going for it, uh, I guess, is that um, it does seem like they got the the actual voice actors, or at the very least, got really good impersonators. I have played some of these movie tie-in games. They don't even like sound um, like the characters. Whatever that was made me like charging, but boy, it, it's kind of useless. Um, I keep I keep double jumping because I I'm used to double jumping getting me higher not making me smash, um, and yeah I probably need to get a more like nimble character if I'm going to like get some of these pieces like there's some wood up there but I'm betting Gloria can't get up there let me I guess go ahead and uh, smash these now that I know how um, should be a little bit easier now that I've. Yeah, okay, so, uh, double jumping near them flips them over, and then I can smash them. Um, that makes sense. Okay. And then, yeah, this is a lot easier now that I actually know what I'm doing. Um, whoa, I completely missed that one. Um, okay. I guess I don't have to, um, flip them over, but it does stop them. So, uh, because I, I smashed that one by, uh, while he wasn't flipped over. So, anyway. Uh, oh, I, I thought he was going to say something interesting, but I, I didn't even hear any of it. Anyway, I got this head. That's... Are we creating, like, a Burning Man? I don't even understand. Oh, well, whatever. I'm going to I'm gonna switch out to a different character and see if I can use them. Oh, wait. What is... Oh, he moved over here well, now. hello again. I think one of the pieces for the rescue beacon is hidden inside these crates. What say we harness our natural chemistry and work together to smash open the crates before the tide rolls in and takes them out to sea? Okay. Um. Do I need to use these red hot chili these red hot chili peppers to smash them? Or um. Yeah, I guess so. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Um. So. Oh. Uh. It ran out. Um. Uh. I wasn't lined up well for this. I'm. I don't even know what happened to it. I lost track of it. No. Oh, uh, there's two more, and I completely. Um, I don't know where they are. I I I lost. I got turned around. Hold on. Let me try again. Um. Yeah. Uh. What? Oh, that's the switch player thing. Yeah. Um. Where am I? Why? Like, why am I so confused about where I am? Um. Hey, oh, who's this? Why don't you go get your friend Melman? Okay, so, yeah, if I was playing Melvin, I could do, uh, some kind of, um, 
some kind of game there with that character, but um, instead I'll just come here and get another one of these coins. I've got eight out of 100 of them. Uh, let's see, can I? Oh, nice. I smashed through that boulder. Um, there's a pepper here, though I'm pretty sure if I used it I, w I would fall off because I'm, I'm not very good at controlling the character. Yeah, I guess I would have to smash through all the way back over here and smash the that boulder. I don't know why, it seems like it just leads back to where I already was. Um, I don't know if it actually opens up a new area. I guess maybe there's a new place I can jump from over there. I guess I'll give it one shot, but I'm not <laughs> not too worried. The um, the goals in this seem pretty uh, lack like uh, not very specified. Like I could just bumble around forever and not do anything. Oh, okay, it got me like a headdress thing. Yeah, I don't know why the statue needs a headdress, but it's got one now, um, I guess. Whoop de doo. Um, okay. Let me, uh, yeah, let me try a different character here. Um, I guess he said Melvin. That's this character, right? Um, yeah, I think that's his name. <laughs> I, um, like I said, I don't really remember the game all that well, but I should be able to, uh, to do some different mini games here. Melvin, our scouts have located a crucial piece for the rescue beacon. It's resting on that rock over there, and I think you just might have the savvy to help us retrieve it. Savvy? Okay. I've got the savvy? Oh no, I'm gonna die! No, Melman, pull yourself together. Savvy means talent or ability. Oh, oh, phew. French words like that usually mean something terrible. Anyway, what? the plan here is to have you use that great long neck of yours to fling three lemurs onto that rock. Once you get them up there, they should be able to bring home the beacon. Press the action button to charge up, okay. then release when you're ready to throw. Action button. Then... Okay, so this is like... Um, this is like a, a some kind of um, distance game, but how do I... Like, how do I... Um, I don't seem to be able to control it. Like... Okay, um, it's a little better, but, uh, okay, I'm gonna have to try again. I don't really, uh, understand. Let's see, okay, um, uh, oh, come on, that was good, whatever. Um, it's a little, it's a little weird the way this is. I, uh, like, I have to fling him with circle and then hit square, and, I don't know, whatever, um, wait, what am I doing now? Where am I trying, I don't even know what I'm trying to get him. Uh, well, that guy is... I just killed that guy. Um, okay, so... Why am I trying to swing another one? I got one up there. What am I... What am I trying to do now? Um, I don't understand. Nope. <laughs> uh, I guess I get infinite lemurs, though. That's kind of cool. I just fling as many of them as I want, as far as I want. Um, almost got that one. Can I... Okay, I can change the angle I'm at. That's good, at least. Um, okay. Yeah, there's two. Alright. this last one. You've got a long throw to make. Why do I have to throw them from different places, though? I don't understand. Um, I don't, I don't get this at all. Okay, I'm not even aimed right. I need to, I keep forgetting that I can control where I'm aiming. But anyway, uh, what? That looked like it landed on. It looked like he clipped through it and then suddenly was further back. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, there's no penalty for failure here. Uh, where did he go? I, I I don't understand what's happening to some of these lemurs. Um, but anyway, I, I guess I'm throwing them too far here. I, it's hard to tell when I can't actually see where they're landing. But uh, see, like, look, he like went into the ground and then suddenly he's over there. That's messed up. Come on, guys, get with the program here. Okay, that wasn't even close. That was my fault. Um, but yeah, I don't understand why I have to fling them from different places. Like. It, it does, it's just like, um, it's like the, this character that's having me do this is just, like, uh, adding extra difficulty for no reason. What? Um, oh, I accidentally released the throw button right, too soon or something, I don't know. Anyway, me, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't like this throw. It seems like I either really overshoot or I get it, when I, even when I get it on there, they, like, disappear and then land somewhere else. Come on, where is he even? Where do they even go? I don't. I, I, I don't get it. <laughs> uh, 
If I just keep trying infinitely, eventually, yeah, there we go. <laughs> like I said, there's no penalty for failure, so anyway, there we go. I, oh, I guess I needed three because it took three to throw it down here, but yeah, there we go. Some random uh, one. Um, looks like Melvin can't even use those chili peppers because I just ran right through that one. I was wondering if I could get uh, him up. I, I would probably need the zebra maybe to get up there, or maybe there's a mini game tied to it, I don't know. Um, Let's see, the warthog is for Gloria. I need to see if that little that little furry guy is uh, moved somewhere else now. Because um, like when I did the first challenge with the warthog, then he moved to create the second challenge. And I'm pretty confident I could have completed that second challenge if I had um, not gotten lost or turned around the way I did. But yeah, I guess I'll go do that and try that one again as Gloria. I don't know how long this is going to go. Um, like... I don't know if this is uh, a timed demo or if I have to complete this um, this beacon thing that we're doing in order to uh, in order to advance. I don't I don't know. Um, but I guess I'll find out uh, as we go along here. Yeah, there we can see it partially constructed over there. Um, yeah. All right. He's gonna have me smash through these crates. Hopefully, I won't get turned around like I did before. So it seems pretty easy, um, just run right into them, but, uh, um, okay, there we go, alright, I got that one, and then, um, there's one right there, and one right there, um, oh, crap, there's 14 of these, I just realized, I, um, did not know there was that many of them, so, okay, that's where the challenge is gonna come in, is that, uh, there's way more of them than I thought, uh, <laughs> there were, uh, crap, I, um, missed the pepper. Uh, that's how I got turned around before, is I had to go back for a pepper, and they're, they're hard to grab when you're not already running towards them. Come on, jeez, uh, okay. There we go, alright, um, uh, ah, I did it again. What the hell, come on. Ah, uh, she's so hard to control, I don't, I don't understand why she has to make these big, like, these huge turnarounds that are really hard to con control where she's going. Um, okay, come on now. There we go. Ah, what? I'm running out of time. Damn it. Uh, I can't even stop running so I can get focused around again. Uh, what is the point of this role? It doesn't even do anything. Uh, okay, one more time, I guess. Boy, that's frustrating. I don't it, it's it's just hard to, to make turns with her because she like does these wide swings I guess because she's so large but um it uh it makes it hard when you have to turn around to, to hit a specific thing so if you get thrown off like I am right now because I don't where's the crate oh okay time ran out all right whatever that's the game not something I would ever play ever all right so this is stolen a game that I vaguely remember knowing existed, but don't actually know anything else about. Uh, and while it looks like we do have an attack button here, uh, I'm not seeing anything about a gun or firing, so we may be unarmed here, which uh, isn't that unusual for a stealth game. And while I'm pretty sure it's not clear for- oh, sorry, she wants us to be quiet. While I'm pretty sure it's not true for all of the Metal Gear Solid games, I know what the demo we played didn't, uh, didn't have, um, guns or anything that we could use there. We were mostly just running and hiding and stuff. Uh, oh, it looks like uh, this, this game was developed by a pretty hip gaming company. Um, <laughs> I haven't haven't heard of them. Uh, and also, uh, Blue... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, so historically I have not been very great with these, um, these stealth games. It looks like we've got an opening video here. Um, like I said, I, we've played Metal Gear a couple times, and we've played, uh... Oh, come on, zip it all the way up. What good is Cleavage gonna do you in, during your, like, spy stuff or whatever? I don't know if she's a spy, but whatever you're gonna be doing here. Um... Oh, her name's Anya Rom uh, Romanov. That's kinda cool. It's got, like, this credits approach here. Um... And the, uh, Walter White-looking fellow there is, uh, Louis Palmer. Um... And then, uh, Breeze, uh... Easy breezy beautiful cover girl. Um, <laughs> uh, and Richard Killian. Okay. Um, I don't know anything about these people other than what they look like in their names though. I guess Mayor Morgan's probably the mayor of whatever town this is in. And, oh come on, who's that? It's not telling us who that is. Oh well, 
they exploded whoever it was. And then Knight um, actually looks kind of out of place amongst all these other characters. So basically politicians and spies, and there's just like a guy in a hoodie with a gun um, named Knight, which is like he's not he doesn't even have like a like a street name or something. Knight sounds like he seems like a one of those urban superheroes you would see on in like Marvel or DC more than uh, a character in a game like this. But uh, anyway, yeah, that's the uh, opening trailer for Stolen. Um, I was saying we've oh we gotta steal the Jade figurine. Okay, I was saying we've we've played Metal Gear Solid and we also played uh, Splinter Cell. We played a couple other games that were probably meant to be played like stealth games, but I I haven't played them like stealth games. Um, but we've got a uh, we've got a, a new one here that I, I don't know anything about other than the I, I kind of like the character's design. It's a little boring, but like the blue accents um, actually kind of help. And once again, we have a game that feels the need to tell us how to walk. That's always weird uh, when they do that. I've had a couple that have done it. Uh, press uh, tap X to jump across gaps. Um, well, I did not jump far enough, but okay. Um, X while running to roll. Okay, so X does different things depending on what you're doing. Um, run at the edge and press X to leap uh, to the pole. Um, uh, oh, this this way. Okay. Um, all right. So now we're perched up on the pole like Catwoman here, and we can. Uh, so actually, this feels like. Um, Gameplay I would expect from a Catwoman game, especially if it was based off the the movie. Um, let's see, uh, crouch uh, with circled walk and walk off to grab the. Oh, okay, I see. Um, maybe we can go across here. So yeah, this is kind of reminding me actually of Tomb Raider Legends so far. Um, though I think it actually controls a little bit better than that. I don't. Um, I feel like I'm having the same problems. Hold R two. Uh, okay, and I can I can kind of parkour up this wall here. That's nice and. Um, once again, jumping off of a, some kind of pole here that looked like a light. Uh, let's see what's over here. Uh, press square to open. Oh, oh, to open the window. I was walking towards that, like, barrier there, but, um, okay. Uh, let's see. Can I jump across here? Yeah. Um, looks like there's a, a med pack over there. Uh, this is good. I don't know if we'll need that, but, um, hold R1 to flatten against the walls. You can move across thin ledges. Okay, um... It's a little odd. I have to I have to press square to um to to turn a corner while I'm like this, which is that's odd that it doesn't just do it on its own. I don't know what the point of that is. Um, let's see, where am I? I'm not sure where exactly I'm trying to go here. Um, oh, I fell down a hole. <laughs> Great. Okay, so now I'm I'm down here. Um, I'm sure we can get out of here though. Let's see. Uh, some. Let you see it. Hold R2 to run up the wall and then tap X to vault off. That's interesting. Hold on, let me try something here. Can I, um, let me, let me run up the wall. <laughs> it's not, the running uh, mechanic is not perfect, but okay, it did work like I thought it would. Awesome, I can kind of Mario up this wall here and then I, uh, here we go. Alright. Um, so actually, I, I think that's the, uh, the, where I just was on the other side of those boards there. So now I'm over here. Uh, in the bright light, but thankfully there's nobody around, so I don't feel, uh, particularly exposed. Uh, went at the gap and press X to leap and grab the ledge opposite. Um, okay. Alright, and I can, I guess I can just shimmy across this here. Um, can I, okay. There was a break in the wall there, I thought I might fall, but I guess not. Um, alright. This place is torn up. Uh, I thought we were stealing a jade statue, but it's, um, or, I don't know if we're actually stealing it. We might be, like, recovering it from some thieves or something like that. Oh, no, I guess we are stealing it, because that looks like a museum over there. Uh, hold L1 to enter first-person mode. Uh, left analog stick to look around. Right analog stick to zoom. Okay. I can take photos, too. I don't know what the point is, but that's kind of neat. Um, let's see. Where am I trying to go? Uh, square to use. What am I using here? Uh, oh, there's a zip line. I did not even see it, because it's so dark out here. Um, but, uh... Okay, we uh, zip lined across to this other building. Um... Let's see. I see. Oh, there's a person. Great. Uh, I don't know how to fight. So, um, let's see. I heard something about a ventilation shaft, so I'll try and keep a look out for that. Mark the guard with a tracker. Um, let's see. Use up and down to bring up your inventory. Hold L1 in first person mode, uh, which is what we were doing before. So, let's see. Okay, this is my inventory that I've got. This is the one health pack I've got. No item. Uh, trackers zero. Or, or that's not infinite, is it? No. It's. I don't have any trackers. Um, 
locator dart that enables guard, uh, that enables guard and security camera vision cones to be viewed on your GPS map. Shoot square from your... Okay, well, I guess I'll just have to go without, because it looks like I don't have any. Um, like, I can try that, but, um, I'm pretty sure that wasn't an infinite thing. I, I guess it's possible they gave me infinite trackers, but, um, okay, I'm pressing square to fire and nothing's happening, so I'll just have to wing it. I guess if I'm against this wall, I should be okay. Uh, I can kind of crouch and just move al along here. Um, come on. <laughs> as long as I don't have to fight him, I should be okay. I do have an attack button with square, so I guess I've got that going. Oh, there's another... What is this? Um, oh, there's a, another guard over there. Um, use a sonic emitter to distract the guard. Is that what I just picked up? Okay. Um, the guard will be drawn whenever you fire. Okay, so I can use this to distract uh, guards. That's kind of cool. I like that gadget. Um, let's see here. Um, where is it here? Uh, sonic emitter. Sound emitting darts used to create diversions. I only have three here, but um, but it uh, fires in the same way as... Let's see. I'll fire it that way and um, hold L2 to use emitter. Okay. So it's over there, and I should be... Did I shoot it too far over there? What's going on? He's not moving. Um, like, it's... <laughs> it's emitting, but nothing's... Nothing's happening. Um, whatever, I'm just gonna fight him. Uh, let's see. I'll just, um... Yeah, let me just... Oh, he's got a gun, but... <laughs> uh, come on, punch him. I'm like, okay, I wasn't close enough. All right, uh, I'm gonna have to use one of my med packs, but hopefully I can knock him out here. Um, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think I'm supposed to go over here. Hold on. Let me um, real quick here, just use my uh, my one health pack. Um, because I was really close to the edge there. Let's see. Um, climb up here. Oh, good. There's another one right there. How convenient. Okay. Um, let's see. Square to open. Is this, oh, is this the, uh, the air vent that I'm looking for? Um, because I know I, I heard the guy, the, I'm talking to somebody, oh, the radio, I don't know if you guys can hear him, but, uh, I've been talking over him, so I haven't picked up most of what he said, but he said something about an air vent, which I do seem to be in. I'm in a duct here. Um, oh, yeah, I guess the guy knocked out woke up, because my map down in the corner there, uh, you see the, it just turned red, which I think means the people are looking for me, because I heard somebody over, like, a radio or something, so I guess... Um, I don't know if I, if I wait long enough, if they'll be gone. Oh wait, there's a cutscene here. One of the technicians said that Jade statue alone is worth more than my house. So what? I've seen your house. All I'm saying is, they should put that on display instead of hiding it away in the research lab. Yeah, but it's like really old. Those museum boys want to prod it and poke it a bit while they have the chance. Come on, let's lock up here and get a coffee. Yeah, he's got a good point. I think, um, probably... They'll put it on display when they're done, uh, with whatever research they're doing on it. I don't know. I don't know the universe here, so I don't know if it has, like, mystical properties or what's going on, but, um... Let's see. Search the cabinet, he said. Um, this? Okay. Let's see. Um... Oh, I just heard somebody say return to... Yeah, my map... They said return to your stations, and now my map's blue again. I got a silver goblet. That's interesting. Um, I don't know if it's valuable or what, but, uh... I guess that's good. Let's see, can I go through this door? Pick lock. Um, oh, there's a lock picking mechanic. Fantastic. Um, left analog stick selects and raises the pick. Match the pick to the barrel and then align and hold the block on the, to, in the outer chamber. Right analog stick, L1 and R1 control the camera. Okay, um, alright. So, uh, alright, this makes sense to me. I just need to pick... Uh, find a tip that matches, um, like this one, okay, so this tip matches that, that block, and then I just push it up until it's green, and then it, yeah, and then it activates, okay, that's pretty straightforward, I think, I feel like I've played a game that's done that before, and it wasn't this one, though I guess, I doubt anybody's gonna be crediting this game with a lot of originality, I, pretty much everything we've done here has reminded me of the stealth games we've played before, and that, that exact lockpick mechanic may exist in, like, Splinter Cell or, uh, something. Um, let's see. Hold I want to flatten against the walls. Um, is there a reason to? Is this... Oh, because there's a camera over there. Um, okay, so the guy just said something about the blind spot of the camera being directly underneath it. Um, let's see. I don't... 
I still don't have any, um, he said something about the trackers. Oh, I've got three trackers. Okay, maybe that's what I picked up just now. Let me try this, um, since we didn't get to use it on the guards, uh, before. He said something about, yeah, I can track the field of vision of the security camera here. And so now, I guess it, its vision is going to be displayed on my, um, yeah, there's like a little green cone there that, uh, indicates where the camera can see. So I'm going to want to pass directly underneath it here, because I don't want anybody seeing me, obviously. Um, I'm not quite to where it can see me yet, like, I guess it, the vision isn't very far. But, um, let me crouch too, just in case. Uh, I'll wait till it's pointed away, and then I'll try and get underneath it here. Um, alright. Yeah, alright, so this is, um, working pretty well for us. It's a pretty straightforward game, nothing too surprising or unique here. But it's pretty, um... It's pretty harmless in its simplicity, I guess. Um, let me see. Oh, crap. Uh, alright, it it almost saw me, but didn't quite, I guess. Okay, um, let's see. What is this? Uh, oh, another health pack. Okay. Um, alright. Uh, I can use a sonic emitter. Um, or, or I can whistle. Okay, okay, so I picked up a little bit of information trying to listen to him while I talk, but I guess when I'm... Using my sonic visor, uh, which I, I guess is this mode, or maybe it's not. Do I need to select sonic visor? Got nullifiers, sonic emitters, motion trip wires. Um, let me just select no item here. Okay, so it says if I, I can whistle to um, emit a sound, and that'll allow me to like look through doors, I think. It doesn't seem to be working, though. Um, can I just open these doors? Um, okay, I can't seem to open those or these. It's what really wanted me to do this sonar thing, but I don't, I don't understand. Can I, like, where am I supposed to be whistling at? Uh, like, I'm, I'm, so I'm, I'm in this, is this not the, um, oh, wait, I've got different modes here. So this is like, do I need to be in this green night vision thing, or no? Um, I can actually activate that while I'm not zoomed in, too. Huh, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure I understand exactly, um, what I'm supposed to be doing here. Uh, I don't know. Um, let's see, X to, okay, so I can get up here, whatever. I'll just, um, get up in here and see, uh, if I can, uh, maybe get a, a better vantage point up here. I don't know exact if this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Because it was telling me all this stuff about, like, sonic and, uh, like, uh, some kind of sonic thing and whistling and I was doing it, but nothing was happening, so what? I don't know, whatever. Um, okay. I found a room with a guy in it, so, uh, I can't, um, let's see, I can't seem to, uh, move around too much unless I'm, uh, in this mode here. So, I, uh, let's see, I'm locking onto these things, um... It said steel there, like, huh, I don't know what that means, I'm just taking photos of things. I need to, um, find some way to get rid of this guy, maybe throw out a, another sonic emitter or something, I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm afraid I'm gonna, like, maybe I, maybe I should just go ahead and jump out down here. Um, okay, crouch and, alright. I can sneak up behind the guard uh, while standing and press square to put him in a chokehold. So that's good to know. Um, I maybe should wait until he's back around here? Um, I don't know. Let me see if I can uh, see a way to move around a little bit more. It's a little bit darker on this side of the room. I don't know why people are hanging out in such dimly lit rooms, but it's awfully convenient for me that <laughs> it's so dark here. Uh, but if I get the chance to like grab him from behind, I can choke him out. Uh, with square, I think it said. So, uh, yeah, I'll, um, I guess I'll do that. Let's see, he should turn around right about here. Oh, crap. Um, I, uh, I messed it up. I accidentally ran up beside him because she moves a little bit faster than I would like. But, um, anyway, he's knocked out for now, but it won't be, won't be long. Um, there's the statue. Okay. Um, okay. So I guess, is that the whole mission? Nice. Uh, crime never felt so good. Seems 
pretty standard. I guess um, stealth game fans who are tired of Metal Gear Solid and Splinter Cell would enjoy it, but I don't see I don't see anybody else really getting into it. It seems pretty like I would recommend those games over it, but it seems fine for what it is though. All right, so this is Juiced, a game that I can't say I've ever heard of, though with a name that generic, it's entirely possible I've heard of it and just completely forgot it existed. Like, there's some seriously bland names on this disc. We just played Stolen and now we're playing Juiced. These, like, one-word games that could... They're so generic. It looks like it's a THQ game. Um, we've played a lot of THQ on this series because they, they put out a lot of games around this time, it seems like. But, uh, yeah, it looks like... Um, like we guessed from the menu that it is some kind of racing game. The vehicle driving depicted in this game is not entirely realistic and could be dangerous in real life. Okay, well actually I like that. Um, I, I prefer unrealistic driving games because if I wanted to drive realistically, I, I have a license. Um, though I guess I don't do a lot of racing, but yeah, this is the uh, THQ logo. Um, kind of vamped up with some, some electricity. It's a juiced logo. Uh, and then, um, oh, and it's juiced games. What the... How many games can you make when your company is titled after... I don't know, or I don't know, maybe the game's named after the company. I don't know. It's weird to see a title with the same name as one of the developers. But anyway, press start to, to go in here. Looks like it's uh, street racing and... Uh, oh, there's a there's an opening narration here. In Juiced, you'll get to meet them all. But you'll need to do more than just win. You'll need to impress them with all your tricked out automobiles. Challenge them for ownership. Entertain them with slick maneuvers and cool style, and win the best looking machines for yourself. Now let's meet TK, leader of the Urban Maulers, and get you on the line. Okay, so it seems like there's some kind of uh, reputation system in this game, maybe, or maybe some I'm other TK. things. Welcome to Angel City. So you want to race, huh? Okay, here's what I'm going to do. If this is going to show the head, you think they put a little bit more emotion into that. If you bend my car, you'll have to fix it at the workshop after the race. Oh, and while you're there, you can mod it any way you like. Now, to make it interesting, let's have a little bet. Look at him. Ain't nothing between them. Okay, so... Um... Me for this? All right, so we're racing for a wager. Um... I guess for $7,500? Uh, and it looks like I can actually lower the bet or even raise the bet. And since this is a demo and I have nothing to lose, I'm just gonna bet everything. Um, I don't see any reason not to. Just, uh, <laughs> just, um, play it crazy here. Uh, alright, so I, I raised it as, I guess, I, I, I didn't actually notice how much it raised. I don't know if I raised it to my maximum amount or, or what. But it looks like we're going into the race now. Uh, I have no intention of winning this, but, Again, it's a demo, so it's not like I have anything to lose. It's not money that I'll uh, get the chance to spend later or anything. So, uh, but yeah, this uh, the way this is set up actually kind of reminds me of like a like a racing version of Def Jam Fight for New York or something, where you you go around and you collect money and you use it to customize things and you gain res uh, respect or um, or reputation or something like that, and that kind of represents your your street cred, I guess. Um, and I'm not sure exactly of the timeline, but I'm bet willing to bet this is based off of the view. Like, this this game exists because of Fast and the Furious. Uh, or, like, it's it's tied to that release somehow. Let's see, we got a, a turn coming up here. Um, uh, wow, he um, made that turn a lot faster than I did. Um, yeah, I, uh, I've never been good with the physics of racing games. I, those of you who, if you watch the show, uh, then you know that. Um, I just, with these games, the the more realistic the game is in its controls, the harder I find it to control the car with the controller. I don't know, I don't know why that is or what, like, I feel like I'm missing some kind of fundamental aspect of these games that I just don't understand and that's causing me huge problems, but it's probably a bigger thing than that. I'm probably misunderstanding a lot of things, but, um, because the only racing games I've ever been any good at are the, the cartoony ones, like, I, I'm not great at them, like, but like Mario Kart or, or some of the ones we played on this show, like Super Bombad Racing or uh, the the Disney Racing game that we played. Uh, I'm, I'm not great at these games, but I'm way better at them than I am at this. Like, uh, I, like I was doing okay on this until we had to turn. Like, if the whole race was just a straightaway, I think I might could have done it. But um, 
Yeah, I notice we have a nitrous button, but I'm pressing it and nothing's happening, so I don't know... Uh, I don't know uh, if you have to pick up something to do that or what, but we're pretty far behind our guy now. We're going to be lose all that money, I bet, but that's okay. I was I was expecting as much. Um, it is kind of cool that the game tells us to slow down and when to break and things like that. It's it's useful to me, though uh, I have, I'm have i still not doing it right. Um, <laughs> that's okay. Uh, let me see. Um, I'm not sure how this game really compares to other racing games. The only other street racing game I could think of that we've played is um, the one where we were playing in ambulances uh, that I did in that demo wheel with Alex uh, or way back in like I have an episode like 11 or 12 or 13 somewhere around there um, but we, we played a street racing game where we were ambulances and I like this game more than that just because it's linear um, like it's still a, it's still like a straightforward racing game that game was really open-ended and it was really easy to um, lose track of where you were. Yeah, they're second place. I lost 195 respect. Um, and I guess judging from the opening narration, I could have actually gained respect if I did some cool tricks or things, but uh, I did not. Um, looks like I could play again or, let's see, what is continue? Does that allow me to see some other aspects of the game here or is it just going to take me to the race again? Because if it's just going to take me to the race again, then I'll just quit out because I don't, I don't want to race anymore, but it, I wouldn't be interested to see how much of this game is actually in the demo, or if it is just the racing with some some dialogue at the start? Um, let's see, race results. Um, yeah, I uh, I lost, um, winning zero dollars. Uh, it looks like he won uh, five thousand. I I could have sworn we bet more than that. But anyway, um, whatever. Uh, is there anything else other than the stats? Or? Yeah, this is. Yeah, this whatever. He just had some kind of this or something I don't know um, it looks like uh, it executes a track of respect for a lot of characters and I guess I was the, that guy down there um, or no wait that guy what well, I, I don't understand how this is working um, I don't know what character I am but uh, urban Mahler's mock your circuit skills oh that's okay um, uh, WB mock your circuit or wait these are I, I'm, I'm losing respect with these people Okay, um, these people are all mocking my circuit skills. Why did I gain respect with him? The lords are totally impressed with your betting. Oh, because I raised the bet, I gained nine respect from that guy, uh, whoever that is. Okay, that makes, all right, I understand now. Uh, but the only one I had respect from to begin with was the guy I was racing against, so I guess the others don't actually affect anything. Not that, <laughs> not that it'll matter since that's probably the, the whole demo there. Um, oh, I can uh, repair or maintain my car. Uh, I guess it's worth, um, repair, yeah, alright. Um, so I guess I just select repair and it automatically repairs it. Uh, now I can customize, um, so I could, uh, modify the appearance of the car, um, let's see, what are my options here? Uh, yeah, I can change the hood to different ones. I imagine there's probably a way to change the color, I can change my rims. Um, pretty standard stuff for car customization, like, um, if you, a lot of racing games have stuff like this in it, or uh, Saints Row, uh, or I think uh, I think Grand Theft Auto also. Most most games where you dr can drive a car allow you to customize them to some extent, or at least games from that are older than like 2001. But anyway, uh, I, I'm not going to experiment too much with that because it's all uh, pretty similar. Um, let me see. I wonder if I, it, it says I can go race, so I wonder if I can actually, um, I, I don't actually want to do this test. It would probably let me do another race, but I don't really see the point to that. Um, like, I don't think I have anything to gain from that. I, I think we've got a pretty good grasp of how this game plays and what it's like. Um, and I guess for people who like racing and want a little bit extra with, like, the customization and the storyline, I'm assuming there's some kind of storyline and the respect and money things and all that sort of uh, extra dynamics. I could see how somebody would have fun with this. It's really not for me, um, just by virtue of being a racing game. But uh, it's 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 interesting um, to to see a game like this and, and th that it lets us do more than just drive the car in the in the demo. I appreciate that. But uh, as far as uh, as far as all that goes, I think that's all I really I really need to see of the game here. Uh, collect over 50 real cars and over 100 real uh, models. Uh, customize your body in 7.5 trillion different ways. 
uh, feel the difference with every change you make. Um, I can appreciate that. Wheel and deal your way through the gangs. Uh, get your crew together and show them who's boss. Oh, that's neat. Uh, you can make your crew. Uh, do it for respect and do it your way. Uh, risk your pride and joy on the line showdown. I, I can't be reading this right. This text is a lot to read. Play to the crowd with bonus turns. Um, yeah, like I said, if you look like if you did some flashy driving, you'd get more respect. Pop the hood on the street racing uh, out May 2005. Okay, so yeah, that that's juiced by juice and also THQ. This is, hmm. Like, I don't... Wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. These are buttons. I just realized these are buttons. Okay, 